the roll? Fifteen present. Alderman Van Akron is excused. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item is the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Second. Those minutes are before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on the minutes? Fifteen, yes. Motion passes. Next is uh, council appointments. Uh, there's a document in your file, but this will um, lie over until our next meeting, and this is for all the election inspectors for 2014. Um, is there any public forum this evening? No, sir. Okay. Mayor's announcements. I had the pleasure of attending the uh, League of Municipalities meeting a couple about a month and a half ago. And at that convention, they give out an annual award for arts in the community. And it was really a lot of fun to go up on stage and see our Sheboygan Performing Arts Association receive this statewide award. And I'd like to call Chuck Krebs up to say just a few words and represent the award to him. And we've got a number of people from the different organizations that make up the Sheboygan Performing Arts Association in the back. Charles. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you for having us. The Sheboygan Performing Arts Association began about 10 years ago. Denny Moyer was instrumental in the beginning of that, and several of our members are in the back here joining us tonight. Sheboygan Performing Arts is a collaborative association of performing arts organizations within Sheboygan County, and it is our mission to um, enhance and promote the vital role that the performing arts play in the economic and cultural development of the community. So on behalf of our members, I would like to thank you very much for having us and for attending this event and receiving the award. Thank you. Going on with further announcements, I'd like to thank the Monk community for the invite to speak at their New Year's celebration. Uh, it was a, a great uh, get together, and we had a lot of chance to learn about Monk traditions and, and, and customs. I'd also like to thank the Sheboygan JCs for conducting the 21st annual Christmas parade and holiday tree lighting ceremony. The parade uh, really signals the start of the Christmas season here in Sheboygan. And we have several neighborhood meetings that are planned for the Keeney Park neighborhood on Wednesday, 12-11, 6.30, and they'll be meeting at St. Uh, Paul's Lutheran School in the lower level. And then the Near North neighborhood will meet on Tuesday, 12-17, again at 6.30 at First Presbyterian Church on North 5th Street, again in the lower level. Next, we'll go on with the consent agenda, and I have to just let you know that there was a change on some of the um, information in there, item 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, and 2.18 were originally supposed to lie over and all those will be put upon their passage. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to put forth the consent agenda for approval. Is there any discussion? See no discussion. Will the clerk please call the roll on the consent agenda? Fifteen eyes. Item three point one uh, will be referred to the salary and grievances committee. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, when I sent submitted this document to the city clerk's office last week. Uh, on the document that I sent to Sue Richards, I requested that it go to the Salary and Grievance Committee and also the uh, Committee of the Whole. 
and apparently there must have been a uh, clerical error in the clerk's office because it, it doesn't show on here that I requested it. I go to the Committee of the Whole, so uh, I would like to have it go to the Committee of the Whole. Thank you for your comments, Alderman Bourne, but there was no clerical error. Uh, the chairman of the meeting made a decision that it's bad public policy or procedure to have an item go to uh, a committee like Committee of the Whole where the Salary and Grievances Committee is a subset of that. And I checked with the city attorney and he agreed with that. And we should send it to one or the other. If you'd like to change that to one or the other, you're welcome to, uh, to make a motion to do that. Go ahead. I didn't understand who made the decision that it wasn't going to go to the Committee of the Whole? Your mayor did, I did. And uh, it seems that in the past when uh, an alderman uh, wants to send in a document to a committee, uh, it hasn't been questioned in the past. Uh, usually the committees that the uh, alderman has wanted them to go to, it has gone to those committees. I turn to the city attorney to talk about the ordinance that govern that. Yeah, there's a couple of ordinance sections. Uh, I had written them down. I guess I left them in my office, but I think it's 2 231 and 2 232 that basically say that the uh, presiding officer uh, makes the decisions as, as far as uh, referral of committee documents, uh, documents to go to committees. Uh, doesn't preclude any council member if they disagree with what the presiding officer has proposed from making a motion to have it referred to somewhere else uh, or have it referred to additional places, but, but uh, that's what the ordinance calls for, is the presiding officer makes that determination and not each individual alderman as far as uh, whether or not documents are referred and which, to which committees. Well, I have no problem with it going to the Salary and Grievance Committee. That's where I wanted it to go in the first place. So I can make a motion to also refer to the Committee of the Whole. I'll make a motion to also refer to the Committee of the Whole. Second. It's been moved and seconded to also refer it to the Committee of the Whole. Under discussion. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I, I will just say that I disagree with this going to the Committee of the Whole. I, I think we have standing committees for a reason. Um, unless we're going to do this for every position that we have inside the city, I don't think we need to single out the one department, which happens to be the fire department. I think it needs to go through the, uh, the proper steps, which would be salaries and grievances, then back to this committee as a, as the, come back to this body as a whole when it can be dis discussed with the entire council. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would speak against the motion. Um, it just frankly seems like a waste of time to send it to salary and grievance and then also be talking about it in terms of committee of the whole. <clears throat> what Alderman Boren is suggesting is looking at the salary schedule for the fire department and or for the fire chief. And while I appreciate that, um, I think that the salary and grievance committee is, is able to take uh, those matters under advisement. Secondly, I think it is important as we are now initiating the search for our fire chief that to the outside world, Sheboygan still looks like a good place to work. It looks like a place where people are going to want to apply and want to be considered for employment and where their salaries are not really subject to mm, substantial controversy before uh, a person is even interviewed for the position. Um, so I think the referral to salary and grievance is fine. We're in the process of obtaining information uh, regarding salaries. Um, and you know, it really gets into how we want to take a look at how, what it means to work for the city of Sheboygan. And it is, of course, beyond just the salary. Certainly, we can look at that salary. Now, if we're going to go to Committee of the Whole, then what would keep us from having a Committee of the Whole meeting regarding the purchase of three Motor Vehicle Division triaxle dump trucks with plows, salters, controls, and equipment? What, why wouldn't we just do everything that the city does within the context of the Committee of the Whole? Because we don't do that. That's, this is just not the way that we do business. So I'm going to ask older persons to vote against this resolution. Uh, the matter will be referred to salary and grievance. It'll get a fair hearing. We'll have a good discussion, I think, about not only the salary, but what it is that we expect from our fire chief and so forth. Um, and uh, then come back to the council as a whole with concerns, questions. Alderman Bourne will certainly have 
a, a substantial opportunity to present his position both at salary and grievance and at the council, but we don't need salary and grievance, committee of the whole, and council. It's a duplicative effort. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Alderman Boren. <clears throat> Thanks, Mayor. Uh, with all due respect to Alderman Carlson, I'm, I'm not singling out uh, a certain position. Uh, generally, when there's uh, somebody leaving a position, uh, whether it be the fire chief, the police chief, the DPW director, the IT director, whoever it is, after that person has been here for a period of four years, I think it's a good opportunity to review whether, we're, whether the new person is going to be paid is going to be is going to be paid enough. Look at the what you know whatever the benefit package is. So by no means am I singling out uh, a certain uh, a certain position. I just felt when I brought this forward a couple of weeks ago that after Chief Herman has been here for four years, that if we are going to review a salary and benefit package for the for the uh, uh, for the new chief, this is the time to do it. And if we have another opening of a department head in another two, two or three months, then I think that would be the appropriate time to review the salary and benefit package for that department head. So uh, I'm not singling anybody out. It just so happens that this is a department head who's leaving us, and I think it's a good opportunity to review the salary and benefit package. Thank you. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and that's a great idea and something that the Salaries and Grievances Committee is charged to do. Um, I don't know that this is something that we've really ever brought up in front of the Committee of the Whole as to a review of somebody's wages and benefit, a wage and benefits package. So um, I would um, recommend not going to the Committee of the Whole. We don't need another meeting for something that we have a standing committee already to deal with. Thank you. Is there any more discussion on referral? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on referral? We're going to take a <coughs> voice call. Bellinger? No. Warren? Aye. Carlson? No. Dassler? No. Donahue? No. Hammond? No. Heideman? Aye. Herman? Hart? Lassard? No. Lewandowski? Aye. Pentacle? No. Thiel? No. Vanderweel? No. Matichek? Aye. Mercy? Aye. Six ayes, nine noes. Fail. Motion defeated. 3-1 uh, will be going to salary and grievances. Item 3.2 will be referred to public works. Item 3.3 will be referred to public protection and safety. Item 3.4 will lie over. Uh, Alder, let's see, uh, 3.5 will also lie over. And 3.6 will lie over. Under resolutions, 4.1 will lie over. 4.2 will be referred to public works. 4.3 will lie over. Under reports of office or reports of committees, uh, report of committee by finance to whom was referred resolution number 87 of 1314 by Alderperson Hammond authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2013 budget. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and put the substitute resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The motion is before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fifteen ayes. Motion passes. Under item number six, ordinances, 6.1 and 6.2 will both be referred to salary and grievances and uh, respectively, and then the last one will go to the City Planning Commission. Under matters laid over, Item 7.1 is GO 42 of 1314 by Alderpersons Donahue, Dassler, Hammond, and Vanderweel repealing the, and recreating section 29-3 of the 1975 Municipal Code relating to residency. Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I would move that the uh, ordinance be put upon its passage. Thank Second. you for that motion and support. The, uh, the motion is on the floor. Is there any discussion on the motion? See none, will the clerk please call the roll? Twelve.
12 ayes, three noes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to other matters. City Attorney. 8.1 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015. That will go to law and licensing. Um, the other two are not numbered, but one is a resolution. Oh, they are numbered. Uh, 8.2 is a resolution approving the Capital Improvements Program recommended by the Capital Improvements Commission for the period 2014 through 2017 and adopting to the 2014 program for implementation. That will be rely over. And 8.3 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of appropriations in the 2013 budget. That will lie over. And 8.4 is a resolution committing fund balances in accordance with GASB 54 and subs of res number 44-12-13. That will also lie over. Moving on to adjournment. Alderman to adjourn. Second. We move and second to adjourn. <coughs> the clerk, please call the roll. <coughs> Fourteen eyes, one no. We stand adjourned. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Second.